Yo, so welcome everybody to another YouTube video with me. My name is the Lucas here yeah? and in today's YouTube video I'm going to show you, to show you um, which running shoes I own and I'm also going to tell you um, yeah, what the purpose of the shoe is for me. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, so let's start out with this shoe. Um, this is the Under Aimer Bandit 3. Yeah, it looks like this like this and <clears throat> yeah I'm having I'm having a second pair of it as well and also I just bought like two or three days ago I bought the Under Aimer Bandit 2 um, because I had it before and this is basically my yeah road running shoe I use it on the road um, yeah mainly and also like on the treadmill for my interval uh, interval sessions, my speed workouts, my easy runs, my flow runs, and so on. Yeah, so this is basically, um, yeah, my go-to shoe when it comes to the road. Also, use use them for the 100k ultra uh, on the roads, and yeah, I think yeah, I ran in the Bandit too. I ran a marathon and also a half marathon like in the Bandit too. So this is definitely my go to shoe number one <clears throat> then um, Vibrams I own those two pairs and I think I have two more pairs in Bangkok um, yeah this is this is the LX um, I rarely use it for running um, I'm, this is like mainly my gym shoe and my walk around shoe um, yeah, sometimes I'm going on the treadmill with this, but just for fun. Yeah, nothing, nothing special. Um, this is the, this is the, um, I think it's the Big Kila Evo One or Two. I don't know, um, <laughs> uh, to be honest. Um, but this is like like a more harder one, and um, it has the same sole um, as the V Run, and I definitely love this shoe. I yeah used to run. Or I ran my my first um, ultra marathon in those, and also like um, a couple of marathons. Um, yeah, so I definitely definitely love this shoe. And nowadays, like like um, like um, yeah, let's say like six months ago or something, I used them like very regular, like yeah, <laughs> yeah, like nearly daily. Um, but right now I'm just using them if I want to switch uh, things up a little bit, and. Of course, I'm just using using them um, on the road. Yeah, not on the trail. Yeah. <clears throat> yes. And also, I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you uh, the two other pairs that I'm having. I think it's the Sprint or something like the Vibram Sprint, and the other one is the. Oh, cool. Uh, I have no mm -hmm. clue, but I'm showing you the picture. Um, okay. <clears throat> Next shoe that I own, the next shoe that I own is the Speedgoat One, yeah, Vibram Soul, um, Hoka One One, and um, yeah, that's a trail running shoe. But um, yeah, I just bought them very recently, and I'm going to sell them because they have uh, too much cushioning for me. Yeah. <clears throat> um, also, I'm owning um, a Hoka Bondi Five at the moment. Um, it's in Germany, and I'm yeah currently selling it as well. Um, yeah, I used it. I used it for road, um, for roads, um, but the situation is like, um, yeah, too much cushioning, and I don't really like it. All right, um, next shoe. Um, this is this is the Salomon Salomon Sense Pro. As you can see, it's like really really dirty right now. Um, this is basically a Sense Pro Two. Yeah, Sense Pro Two. Um, this is my my running shoe. Um, when I'm doing like um, short distance uh, trail kind of stuff, um, yeah, it's a it's a good shoe, um, but uh, definitely not perfect um, because it's like a it's it's not like very aggressive, um, even though it's like a low cushioning shoe, and yeah, I'm starting to sweat like a lot in those shoes. I cannot use them for 20k plus. Definitely doesn't work because like. Um, yeah, the, the front is like very very hard, and yeah, I'm feeling it um, on my on my toes, and I don't really like that. But besides that, like if I want to do like some kind of semi-fast kind of trail, 
uh, run, then I would use those. Yeah. <coughs> Next shoe. Um, next shoe is the Lone Peak 4. Looks dirty and used as well. Um, yeah, definitely with the lip situation going on. Um, yeah, so this is definitely my kind of love-hate relationship shoe. Um, I'm using it for longer distances, um, 20k plus or something trail. Um, yeah, and I'm definitely, definitely I'm um, seeing this more as a long distance kind of shoe, yeah. <clears throat> yes. Um, also, also I own um, an Ultra Torin, I think, 3.0. Um, it's also in Bangkok and I don't use it anymore. Um, but it was also like a road running shoe that I used like in the beginning when I started out running. And yeah, I think I think this this is it. This is my um, collection of running shoes. If you have a question about um, those shoes, um, post post your question down in the comments. And if you like the video, um, please hit the like and subscribe button. And yeah, if you if you want to see more videos of me, um, yeah, just just let me know. And uh, it would be awesome to see you around. Peace out.